Okay, this is a combination of Brian's mind and Jeff's uh, ride to work, except this is Brian's ride home. So it's going to be a little shaky because, unlike I don't know how Jeff does it, my hand's on the steering wheel and this road is bumpier than hell. Now, why don't I do this on the way to work? Because bumper to bumper traffic absolutely sucks to try to hold a camera and turn. So anyways, what are we going to talk about today on my drive home? How about the swine flu? Everybody's up in arms over the swine flu. Big deal. I say what don't kill you makes you stronger. The stronger you are, the happier you are. So, that being said, I think that some people are nuts for saying that it's Barack Obama's fault for the swine flu because he doesn't he didn't have a healthy human whatever secretary and so that's why uh, the outbreak wasn't caught in time. Well, I don't think that's the case. I think the case is is that people need to worry more about what's going on in the world than to worry about who to blame for the swine flu. Is it the Mexicans? Maybe. Could it be the Puerto Ricans? Maybe. It could be just about anybody. But why do we blame people? It's an illness. It happens. You don't see people going around and trying to figure out who's to blame for AIDS. Oh wait, the Republicans tried that. It was the gay people. That's right. Anyways, I happened to be channel surfing the other night, and I came across this really whiny, bitchy little guy. I think his name was Glenn Beck, crying about Obama's the reason we got the swine flu. Obama this, Obama that. And I was thinking that that's kind of horse shit, blaming him for anything. Again, I know I said it once, I said it again. It's hard to keep my train of thought while I drive. I don't know how the hell Jeff does this. This is amazing. But anyways, it, it's not a fault. And people should actually in, be encouraged and want the swine flu. Because, like I said before, don't kill you, it makes you stronger. We have Tamiflu. We have all that other stuff. So, what's the big deal about getting the swine flu? Hell, I personally, if I get enough donations to happydude53406 at gmail.com, I personally will go to Mexico and catch the swine flu just to show you people that it's no big deal. I'm willing to do that for my viewers. Why? Because I'm a nice guy. That's something I feel is a step I'm willing to go to for my threshold of paying viewers. Now, will most people do stuff like that? No. Hey, look. Starbucks. Anyways, see? I don't live in that small of a town. We got a Starbucks. And, uh, what else did I want to talk about? Oh, President Obama's first 100 days. Wow, did that fly. Seemed like only yesterday he was elected. But now his first 100 days are in the book. And... Oh, wait a minute here. We got a law, a law enforcement officer. Has somebody pulled over. Let's see. Probably going to end up being me because I'm filming. But anyways, the law enforcement officer pulled over somebody. I like a stoplight. This is actually rare for me to get stopped at a light at this time of day because it's 12:13. Now, I know I work nights for 30 more days, then I get to go to days. So, actually my website, our website, sorry Jeff, will be updated more because when I work days, I can get more filming done. 
I already forgot what I thought. This is a lot tougher than it looks, people. Trying to come up with shit while you're driving. So I give Jeff all the credit in the world for being able to do this. Me, I think I've repeated everything at least twice. I've lost my train of thought three times. And I still not sure what to say. So let's see here. Got a green light coming up. It's going to turn fucking red on me, ain't it? Let's see. Well, we know that cop has somebody pulled over, so even if it turns red, we don't have to stop. No, nope, it stayed green. Okay, so anyways, I'm almost home. And... Jeff, I don't know how you do it. That's amazing. Until next time, this has been Ryan's Mind. I'm